Okay, so I see someone asked how to use a QuickTime Player screen recorder. Fortunately, you won't see a little box that's here. Basically, you go into QuickTime. If you've got your QuickTime coming over here, drag it over to this side of the dock because you'll use it over and over again, so you want to keep it in your dock. And all you do is new screen recording. You can see it's grayed out at the moment because I'm using it, but when you click that button, a little black box comes up here. You can't see it in the video, so don't worry about it being there. As you can see, you can't see it now. Um, when you click on that box, there's various options you can choose. In the corner there, there's little um, ones where you can choose to have a built-in microphone, quality of the video, and where we show the mouse clicks and recording, which does a little beeping sound or something. You can change the volume on it. Um, and um, you can also, um, the, the problem is you put the recording volume up too loud and you get feedback. So mute the speakers and uh, that way you can speak as loud as you like, you won't get the feedback and uh, that's as simple as that. If you're using a PC, use a program called Cam Studio. I found it very easy to uh, um, download things with Apple with the QuickTime player, if at the very beginning it says if you want to record the whole screen just click the button, the mouse button, if you want to record a section you just simply drag and choose the section of the screen that you want to record and then it'll just record that. Really helpful if you're just wanting to record a web page or something similar. I hope that helps the person who was asking the question.